you're not an idiot. I don't care what people say. No, you know what I mean? Thank you, sir. Yeah, that was so nice. I'm you. here for you. Roger. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the cockpit. Got the baby face bombshell back on board. <laughs> baby face bombshell. <laughs> To start off today with some pattern work, and he's gonna teach me because I don't fing know what I'm doing. So, do pro golf, uh, Holy Shaw, Rick, Rick Badger, yes, it's a uh, 71, uh, Bravo Golf. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna, we're doing a soft field takeoff, we're holding the yoke all the way back. Final pad looks clear, we're gonna have a crosswind from the left, so we're gonna put our aileron into the wind. Full power, power is set, airspeed is alive, engine just fits in the green, and we're coming up here. Nose is starting to lift up a little bit, getting into ground effect, we're gonna build up our airspeed. Weather rain into the wind. Airspeed is 60, we'll climb out at 60. We'll say we're clear of the obstacle here, we're low the nose. Put up our airspeed, track that notch of flaps. We'll climb out at 79. Nice. That was all right. Yeah, that was pretty good. Let's make left close traffic. Roger, what's maybe a common error that you might see somebody, like a student on the... Definitely the getting in the ground effect part. Yep. Um, maybe pushing the nose too full forward, get back on the ground. Okay. Um, or even stall in the airplane. Stall in the airplane. Big one. So yeah, it's very important just to slowly decrease back pressure when you get in the ground effect. Bravo, Golf. You're number two, following a King Air five mile final. All right, 1,113 feet oh. for pattern altitude. Oh, I remember that from last time yeah. I learned. I know, you're yeah. great. I learned from you for that one. Nah, no, no, no way. All right, what's the trick with this soft field landing? Gotta make it butter, man. Oh. Smooth. Okay. Yeah. Smooth. You don't want to. Again, we're simulating. We're landing on grass, so we don't want to like or any soft field. So we don't want to. If we land hard, we get stuck. From rough golf, base follow traffic number two, runway seven, clear for the option. Wind three five zero at seven. Clear for the option uh, number seven. Uh, excuse me, runway seven, uh, number two, seventy one, Bravo Golf. <laughs> number seven. <laughs> <Fucking dick. laughs> All right, speed below uh, one ten. First notch flaps coming down. <laughs> number seven. <laughs> we're gonna be fucking holding for a while. <laughs> right, we're gonna turn base. Second notch flaps. All right, we're coming up here. We're about a uh, two mile final, we'll say. Uh, we've been clear for the option. We can verify runway seven. Nice little crosswind from the left again. So we're gonna use that left aileron, keep us to uh, into the wind, and we we'll use the right rudder to keep our longitudinal axis aligned with the center line. We're coming a little fast. We we'll had that last notch flaps. Pull the power back a little bit. And again, the trick with the soft field uh, landing, we're gonna keep the nose off as uh, much as possible. Kind of. Make a nice, smooth, soft landing. Now we're sticking a little bit idle, a little bit of power. 60 is a good airspeed here. Alright, so we'll just go power to idle here. And we'll slowly hold it back here. Hold the nose off as long as possible. A little bit of side load on the landing. Hold the nose off. Anyway, sorry, a little bit of a distraction there. <laughs> yes. I got a lot on my mind today. <laughs> women? Women. A lot of women. Oh. I wish your mother. Is she okay? <laughs> <laughs> Short field takeoff, 10, 10 notches of flaps, 10 degrees of flaps, and notches of flaps. <laughs> 10 notches of flaps. 10 degrees of flaps. Um, Alright, swing it around here. Seven's verified. Hold the brakes. Aileron into the wind. Full power. Engine instruments in the green. We release the brakes here. Airspeed is alive. Engine instrument's still in the green. Alright, rotate. We're pitching for 60. 60, we're holding 60. Uh, trim for 60, which we're pretty much set here. Alright, we'll say we're clear of the obstacle, so we'll lower our nose a little bit. We'll pick up the airspeed. Airspeed is increasing, so let's retract this notch of flaps. And um, now we're pitching for 79, and we are climbing now. Beautiful. What I like about that is you. You specifically said let's dip the nose before we take the notch of flaps out because yeah. it, it, we lose lift. So you're right. trying to increase that speed to get that lift back. Beautiful. Wait till we get a beam. The numbers here power off 180. So we simulate when we're beating the thousand footers that our engine quits. We have to land on the thousand footers. Best glide speed 65. Roger. Okay. All right, we're beating the thousand footers. Power at idle. Pitching for 65. Let's go ahead and add that first notch flaps. This plane can fucking float for a long time. Yep. Stick with the power of 180, you don't want to turn as much because you're going to lose um, a lot of lift uh, when you're in the turn as opposed to if you were straight level. And this is looking pretty good. Uh, flaps are good where they are. Approach path is clear. Clear. For, we've been clear to, for the option. I think one notch of flaps might work. Get overshoot a little bit here. 
Connections 469, contact the line of departure, good flight. Oh, departure, connection 469, thanks. We have a shot final a little bit, but we can get back on, no problem. Alright, we're coming in a little fast, so let's bring it down here and then we'll hold it off as long as possible. Alright, coming in ground effect, we're going to hold it off, this plane wants to float a lot. Holding it off here. But the nose, a lot of energy on touchdown. Uh, a little long. Pops up, full power. Alright, yeah, so we came in a little fast, a lot of energy. Um, we floated down the runway a lot longer than I wanted to. Nailed the 65 the whole way. Yeah. Short final. It went up to you got about 70, 75 knots at one point. Just add those flaps in there. Lower the nose. Cessna's fucking float though. Uh, any chance for a short approach for 7? 7, 71 probably golf. Your discretion, short approach is approved. Okay, short approach from way 7, uh, clear for the option. Run from way 7, 71 probably golf, thank you. What a nice guy. Yeah, what a nice guy. If you're watching this video, we appreciate everything yeah. you do, you know. What a good guy. From Lewis and Anthony ourselves, yeah. thank you. Sincerely. 1,000 footers, pull the power. Number two, start slowing it down. You're following the Skyhawk on a uh, about to Pitch for 65. Okay, flowing for uh, run. This is some airspeed here. Pitching down. Start that base turn. Flip the wing. Looks clear. Approach path looks clear. Put my hand on the throttle in case we ought to add some power. We're getting a little slow here. So, just if we keep this coming. Turn final, short final. Add some flaps. Let's go ahead, full flaps. Flight over one, you're number one. Okay. Good land runway seven, number one, flight over one. I'll float this baby out as long as we can. Yes. Nailed. Absolutely nailed. All right, full power. Beautiful. Mic controls. Flaps up. Your controls. Mic controls. Let's roll. Nailed that one. That was f***ing spot yeah. on. Yeah. Bang on. Welcome back to the sky. All right. Uh, you're going to teach me that. That power up on you? Yeah. I'm going to be a student. You're going to teach it to me. All right. Uh, so um, what else are we going to level off at? 1,113 feet. Great job. So if you want to use the, 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 the stripes. The other stripes? After, yeah. All right. Okay. I'll use the first stripes. All right. What am I doing? I don't know. All right. Pitching doing. up for 65. Okay. We're going to maintain 60. All right. Lower the nose. Lower the nose. Lower the nose. Yeah, you're gonna maintain 65 here. You wanna add a notch flaps? That'll help. Notch flaps? Yes, right. first notch, notch flaps. flaps. Okay. Um, and we're aiming for that, the first, like 500 feet down the runway. Those okay. those lines right there, those bars. Alright. So I'd, I'd level, or wings level here. Wings level? Yeah, I got some, this thing wants to float as we just saw, so. Straight level for a second, yeah. Play with the trim, that'll help out. Trim's your best friend. Roger. Go ahead and make your left turn here. Left turn. I always verify approach path is clear. Get that turn coming. Make like a 180 here. Looking good now. See that trim? Yeah, trim, now, now trim's pretty good actually. I, I need a little bit more back trim. Sure. Level out here? Yeah, yeah, wings level here. Now we're gaining a little airspeed, so there we go, back to 65. Again, what we talked about before, stability. These airplanes are really stable. Alright, starting in the second notch, that, second notch flaps. Second notch flaps now? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put the third notch in too. Third notch in. Alright, and you see the first stripes? First the five, right. 500 feet down the runway? Yeah. Not, not the threshold. Or the yeah. uh, the ones past the numbers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right, keep this coming. Sixty-five. Looking a bit low. I keep your hand on the throttle just in case we need it. Not in it. Ah, one more golf corner right. Good call. So, I'm not a fan. Fucking hell, that trim. I'm not a fan of putting flaps in straight away. Okay. Because obviously, wind conditions change. If you've got a heavy wind and you're putting flaps in, it's just going to slow you down way more. I think the flaps are the big issue. Yeah, it's just the the putting the flaps in so soon. It can work wonders for you, like it did on yours. Yeah. But then when you've got a student coming in that's struggling to maintain best glide speed, it may not be the best idea in a power off scenario. You're going to show me one, and you're going to nail it again. Okay. Oh, what the f***? Oh, because it's too hot. That one's still going though. Weren't, weren't, weren't. Exactly. Pull this mother down. Alright, this time I'm going to try without the flaps. Oh, initially. okay. We'll 
We'll see. We'll see if that helps you out. Yeah. What I what I generally do, I uh, don't put flaps in until I'm on a base and I know I've made the runway. One Bravo Golf, number one, runway seven, clear for the option, one three four zero, et cetera. I'll tell you one, change in sequence, make a right 360, you'll be number two, following a hawk around a six mile final. Change of plans, we're making a right 360. OGT, someone to do a right 360. So our present heading, which was uh, 250 on the downwind, uh, just make a right 360, nice shallow turn, and then rejoin the downwind on the heading you started on. What, te what technique could you use that you would have already taught the student? Turns around a point. Turns around a point. There you go, pick a point, turn around it. I see a lot of students trying, like, you get, they get given a 360 for spacing and they try and do it as quickly as they possibly can to get on downwind. Well, the point of the 360 is to give traffic yeah, exactly. a tower time. It's a nice, like, 15, 10 degree. There you go. Turn. Beautiful. You're not an idiot. I don't care what people say. No. You know what I mean? Thank you, sir. Yeah, that was so nice. I'm here for you. All right, so we're pitching up for 65. Hello, everyone, your number. All right, 65. And let's start our base turn here. See how much better it's gliding. Oh yeah. Definitely. Oh, the, obviously the trick is playing with the flaps for the landing. If this was a f***ing arrow, we'd be in the ground already. Yeah, I know. I just gotta add some flaps here. Within limits. Nice. Alright, show me a short field landing. Alright, full power. No, tell me. The, to me, that looked and felt better. Okay. How did that feel for you? Really good. Yeah? Um, yeah, that was really good. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was like 150 feet long, but that's alright, still was within standard. The thing is, it's all situational. Yep. You could be in a situation where you got no wind and, and you know you can put the flaps in earlier. My thing is, I would rather not test that out and leave the flaps out until I know I've made the runway. Right. And then start throwing the flaps in. Right, I'll turn down one here. Short field, take, short field landing, right? Short field landing. Hit the touchdown point plus 200 feet. We can't land before it, or it's an unsatisfactory. You can teach me. Okay. My controls. Your controls. My controls. What, what point are we going to make? We'll do a thousand footers. A thousand footers, Roger. All right, being a thousand footers, pull that power back to 1500 RPM. 1500? Yes. Down one, first notch flaps. First notch flaps. Speed's below 100. I remember you said I want 80 on downwind. Yes, correct. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's looking good. Trim's looking, or airspeed's looking good. Good with the trim. Good job. Thanks. All right, you can go ahead and make your base turn. Then we can start to slow down to 70. Hey, Second half flaps, good, good job. Sorry, that was, that was instinctive, sorry. At your left base to runway 7, your number 2 falling asleep. All right, uh, less than back a little bit. Base. You don't want to do that much left bank in the traffic left. pattern. All right, looking good. Second half flaps, you're good. Again, we're aiming for 1,000 footers. Roger. Um, so turn final now. Approach path is clear. We've been clear for the option runway seven. Right. Verify seven on the runway. Seven runway. Oh, that's a cool jet coming hey, out. Hey, all right, all right. Up. Let's uh, let's focus on the runway here. Oh, okay. Yeah, very important to maintain situational awareness. All right, we're coming a little high here, so okay. we got two white. So let's pull the power back a little bit. Pull power back. And add that last notch flaps. Last notch flaps. All right, I go powered idle here. All right, low the nose, low the nose. Low the nose. All right, we're at sixty. So I'm just looking at that point, right? Uh, you, you're gonna lower the nose a little bit, kind of aim before, because this plane's gonna gonna wanna, gonna wanna float before, oh, okay. or a little bit before the landing point. Is this All right, okay? Pull back a little bit. Pull back. Now you're not gonna enter ground effect. Okay. Pull back, flare, flare, back, back, back pressure, back pressure. Hold it off, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off. Hold it more, off. more, more, more. Yep. There, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah. Oh nice. man, nice. what an instructor nice. you are. Nice. Wow, you have controls. Mike controls. Sarcasm or what? No, no, it's good. <laughs> we nailed the point. Thinking from a student's standpoint, the what made sense to me with what you were saying was to aim the nose a little bit before the point. Yeah, then when you flare, you wanna exactly. That's what made sense to me with what you just said. Okay. And then we nailed the landing. 